Hi everyone! Pagkatapos ng unboxing at setup ng ating Raspberry Pi 4 kit, ipapakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano mag-install ng base operating system nito, which is the Raspberry Pi OS. May ginawa kong steps na susundan natin throughout this video. First, kailangan natin i-download at install ang application na SD Card Formatter. Ang purpose ng software na ito ay para ma-format ng maayos yung SD card na gagamitin natin sa ating Raspberry Pi. Technically, pwede rin naman yung standard quick format na available sa Windows operating system, pero hindi kasi ito optimized para sa mga SD, SDHC, or micro SD cards, which can affect the overall performance. Next, download and install yung Raspberry Pi Imager. Ito yung official app from raspberrypi.org na gagamitin natin para ma-download yung Raspberry Pi OS at mailagay sa ating micro SD card. Third step is to write or burn yung na-download na Raspberry Pi OS to our SD card. Again, using the Raspberry Pi Imager. Convenient itong app dahil ito yung magda-download ng OS image and afterwards ay magra-write sa micro SD card. Final step is to boot our Raspberry Pi unit for the first time gamit yung bagong setup na micro SD card. Alright, using our web browser, let's search for SD card formatter. Links will also be provided in the description below. Let's click the first result. Okay, once nasa homepage ng SD card formatter, scroll down hanggang sa makita ninyo yung SD memory card formatter download for Windows or Mac. I am using Windows 10 OS, kaya ikiklik ko itong button na to for Windows. Next page is yung End User License Agreement or EULA. Again, scroll all the way down and click Accept para ma-download yung installer. Na-download ko na itong file previously kaya i-click ko yung Cancel. Nasa 6 MB yung file size. Medyo maliit lang. Alright, para naman sa Raspberry Pi Imager, let's go to the official raspberrypi.org website by using the keyword Raspberry Pi. Click nyo yung first result which points to raspberrypi.org. Sa homepage, click Downloads. Dito sa Downloads page, makikita natin yung links para makuha ang Raspberry Pi Imager for different operating systems, depending on your setup. For me, I'll click Raspberry Pi Imager for Windows. Na-download ko na rin ito kaya ika-cancel ko itong pop-up window. So we have successfully completed the first two steps. Okay, ito yung mga na-download natin na installers. Simulan natin sa pag-extract ng file para sa SD card formatter. Once done, double-click natin yung file and proceed with the installation. Click nyo lang yung I accept radio button and next button several times at hintayin matapos yung process. Mabilis lang to dahil maliit lang naman yung program.
Okay, ito yung interface ng SD card formatter. Kung nakaplug na yung micro SD card sa computer ninyo using a card reader, automatically itong madidetect ng app. By default, quick format na option na nakaselect sa volume label. Pwede kayo mag-specify ng name para sa micro SD card, then click format button. May prompt reminding you na madidelete lahat ng mga data na nasa SD card. So make sure na walang important files na nakalagay or may backup na kayo nito. Click yes to proceed. After a few seconds, successfully completed na yung pag-format ng micro SD card. Click OK button and then close the app. Susunod naman natin i-install yung Raspberry Pi Imager. Just click the install button, hintayin matapos ang process, and launch the application. Alright, first is click natin yung Choose OS button. For this video, pipiliin natin yung Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit version. File size is 1.1 GB at madidepende sa internet connection ninyo yung speed ng download. Next is Choose Card. Automatically nito madidetect yung ating micro SD card. Click natin ito. Now, all we have to do is click yung right button. Another confirmation window regarding sa pag-erase ng data sa SD card. Click yes to proceed. Again, process time will depend on your internet connection speed. Hintayin natin matapos ang download at verification. Alright, once done, click continue. Automatically din ito yung safely remove yung SD card sa computer. We're done sa third step. Proceed naman tayo sa initial boot up process. Ilalagay natin yung micro SD card sa ating Raspberry Pi unit. Pagkatapos, ipa-plug na natin yung mga cable connection. So first, yung micro HDMI cable.
USB keyboard and mouse. LAN cable. And finally, yung USB Type-C power cable. Since may toggle switch yung power cable ko, I'll switch it on. Give it a couple of minutes to initialize hanggang sa mag-display yung main desktop. Alright, so as of now, gumamit ako ng cheap USB capture card kaya pasensya na kung medyo malabo yung quality. We'll need to do further troubleshooting para maayos to. But this is the welcome screen sa initial boot ng Raspberry Pi OS. Click natin yung next button. Select natin yung tamang country. Language to English. At time zone to Manila. Click next afterwards. Now we need to change the default password na Raspberry. Enter your new password twice, then click next. In my case, wala namang black border sa desktop, kaya ikiklik ko lang yun next. Skip ko lang yung part ng wireless network detection since connected via LAN cable yung unit ko. Sa update software package, skip ko muna for now. Anyway, pwede naman natin i-run yung software update anytime. So, I'll click skip. Now we have finished the setup. I suggest na i-restart natin yung system for all changes to take effect. And that's it! We have successfully installed Raspberry Pi OS to our unit. We'll be covering basics of using Raspberry Pi OS on future videos. Thanks for watching!